Hey Traveler, the recent COVID-19 pandemic has many of us questioning whether we should be booking future travel. Here are our best tips for booking in uncertain times. Our first tip is to always book directly through the airline. You know, avoid booking through third-party online travel agencies like Priceline, Skyscanner, and Momondo. If you need to make any kind of modifications or changes to your flight, a lot of times you have to work through that third party instead of just picking up the phone and working directly through the airline. Direct is just gonna make your life so much easier. And it'll also give you access to guaranteed 24 hour cancellation policies within 24 hours of booking your ticket. Of course, this only applies to US tickets, but there's a lot of other airlines around the world that follow the same rule. Tip number two is always book all of your travel with a credit card. So credit cards offer so much more protection than let's say with a debit card or other forms of payment. You know, with a credit card, from when you book, you have protection up to 120 days that you can do a chargeback. So let's say your airline fails, your hotel goes out of business, the tour company that you booked with also goes out of business. So this stuff does happen and booking with a credit card is just always a great defense against losing any of our hard earned money. If you need a list of our top credit cards, check out the description below. Tip number three is avoid all non-refundable travel or essentially anything that you can't cancel for a refund. Since we don't know what the future might bring, we wanna make sure that all of our hotels, accommodations, tours, cruises, and flights are refundable in one way or another. It's the only way to future-proof that itinerary because you know it might be you know a month before you're gonna fly and you might find out you're not gonna be able to go. At least future-proofing it by having everything being refundable is gonna make your life much easier when you go to cancel. Tip number four is avoid foreign airlines. And I know this is kind of a confusing one because I've recommended flying foreign airlines so much in the past. You know, I'm based out of the United States and I say, you know, Singapore, Emirates, uh, Qatar Airways, like these are some of the absolute best airlines in the world, but they're maybe not airlines that I want to have a voucher with if ultimately I have to cancel the ticket that I've booked with these flexible cancellation policies, because it's gonna just make it more difficult to use. So I'm gonna wanna try to make bookings with the airlines I fly most, you know, Delta, JetBlue, United, American, because if I need to cancel and get a voucher, having those domestic airlines as one of those vouchers is just gonna make it so much easier to use. It might not be better airlines, but it's just gonna be easier to reuse that voucher. Here at Thrifty Traveler, we are incredibly excited to start traveling again, and we know you are too. So we hope these tips will help you make smarter and better informed travel decisions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our Thrifty Traveler YouTube channel.